She's almost grown. Please don't cry. Please don't cry. Please don't cry. This is, but we overslept a little bit. Um, my husband's taking Anya to school in a minute. He hasn't eaten, right? Correct. Okay. Your face okay? I don't Slept on something, yeah. hopefully. Hi, good morning. I'm trying to put this on. Got it? <laughs> <laughs> both have been up since seven and they're going for their first nap down at nine which is in half an hour so I'm gonna get myself ready real fast and put them to bed and I need to pump like I don't know um, yeah that's how we do it <laughs> don't cry
All right, we need to go start breakfast. The twins are downstairs. They are about to go for their first nap in about five, min five minutes and then I'm gonna start my breakfast, my oatmeal. Good morning, my baby. You want juice? Yeah. Oh, that's a big one. What's that inside, Mama? Mommy. Did you drink any water this morning? They're tired, they need to go nine nine. It's nine o'clock exactly. Love it when babies are on schedule. Just love it. Okay. Nine nine. Yeah. 
because we overslept a little bit, it turned completely the day around. Now the day is in control of me and not me in control of the day. So I need to catch up and take charge. So if you're a mom, you'll probably know what I mean. You gotta get up before your baby. You gotta go eat breakfast real quick. Sorry you're in my face. <laughs> I have so many things in my hands. Yeah. Oh, sweetheart, you need to wash your face. Oh. Talking about sleep training, uh, Nicholas, they both, first of all, they're both a little bit sick. They both have runny nose. So we had a rough night last night, which is why I overslept. But when it comes to sleep training, let me just uh, make the bed. When it comes to sleep training, what was I going to say? Um, oh, so because he's just talking, he's not technically crying. I'm not going in. He's just talking. If he's crying, that's when I start um, going in and helping him fall asleep by comforting him by like, I don't know, patting his back or talking to him for a minute or two and then leaving him alone. Yeah, we've got a lot to do. is falling asleep. Maxi, what's wrong? And this is not a perfect routine today. Like, oh, I wake up at seven and I do this, that, you know, it's not a perfect aesthetic routine today, but days like this where it's a chaos and where you went off your plan a little bit happen all the time. So why not post that? Maxi, what's wrong? Oh, okay. Mommy will be right with you. Feed Alex, I don't care. Dirty diaper, that's why he was crying. I changed his diaper, I breastfed him. We're gonna check, hold on. Hold on, I'll explain it to you. <laughs> this morning is a joke. I don't even know how to post it as a morning routine. I'm probably just gonna do like a chaotic mo morning in a life or something. I was going to do like a 
nice morning like it normally is, but everybody's um, sick. Yeah. Let's go check the mail. Not the mail, but right here. There is nothing yet, but today your blue one is gonna come. Here the fire. Ooh, my plants. Plants grow. The plants are grow. Yeah, they're growing. We're gonna have some nice tomatoes. Oh, we have some pickle ones. Hey, what are the chances? So. never happens they just both had dirty diaper while they were asleep that never happens now this one is awake well at least we had like an hour of sleep all of this process of me breastfeeding and running around and all this you know change his uh, clothes took me at least an hour and now we just had a perfect nap <sighs> It was supposed to be a really long nap, but I believe this dirty diapers just... <laughs> Mr. Vladina, oh, you, you're so cute though. You're so cute though. And I haven't even had breakfast yet, yes. Him now normally is at 11 o'clock but I need to pump today went completely off the schedule so I'm gonna feed it I'm gonna feed him the other baby is asleep I'm gonna put this one for his second nap probably before the other one even wakes up so that happens sometimes but it's not as chaotic as today so let's get your milk I'm gonna need to pump and yeah By the way, another update. Remember this reflux baby that normally is so like, you know, cries all the time. We are um, at six months old and we are, I feel like we're getting over our reflux or at least it's getting a little bit better, but he is just happy nonstop and he still, you know, burps and he still has reflux, but it's nowhere nearly as bad. And it feels like he's almost like a different baby, you know? Meaning that, not different baby, but he's just happier overall. He's just amazed with the camera. They both love camera. Oh, no, it's here. Um, it's in the bathroom. All right, so we need to, we need to unload the dishwasher, load the dishwasher, and do some laundry. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> I love you. I feel like 
life has been changed ever since they hit six months old. Or maybe it's the book that changed my life, the, the, you know, the evidence of afterlife, because I started believing in different things. I started praying as, you know, I don't really want to get into it because I don't want judgment, but I wasn't praying much before. But now, like, I pray for things. Uh, his reflux got better, which I expected to improve by six months anyway. Um, my milk flow all of a sudden, I don't know. That's just the God sent that there is, I don't know what I did. And I still don't know what I'm doing. Different, but all of a sudden my milk supply has gone up. It's like my body all of a sudden realized that I have an extra baby to care for. It's not just one baby that I'm making milk for. Ah, you're the extra baby that doesn't latch. Because my body doesn't know there is an extra baby because this baby doesn't latch. Um, I have to like... <laughs> and then there is sleep training. I feel like I wasn't sleeping. Six months of no sleeping really does uh, no good to your body. And... I feel like I'm sleeping a bit more. Even though it's not perfect, there's, there's getting so much better already that I just feel like overall, um, it's a big shift. <laughs> oh. Now close the door. For what? 
Mama. I did it, Mommy. I need to start getting ready, um, getting ready to pick up Anya from school. Drop this in here when we come back. We're gonna put it in um, the rooms that they go to. But if we leave laundry on the bed, then the kids are gonna destroy it like it happened before. So. Don't leave folded laundry on the bed. Ever. I got you, baby. I got you. I'm gonna go on a ride. I know it's your nap time. It's almost your nap time. Okay. Let's go eat a little bit before we go. We got five minutes. Ooh. Please don't cry. You're gonna have so much fun driving in the car. You can you can sleep in the car. Blah blah blah. Come on. Let's go get you in the car. And you. Maxie, get in the car. Get in the car, sweetie. What do I see? Light is on, yes. We have arrived. We still have about 15 minutes before the teacher brings her out to us. 
but Alex is getting hungry just like I anticipated and I'm gonna give him this and yeah. We're not going to school. Yeah, I'm not gonna leave you here alone. What you doing next to you? Oh. oh, we are back. Um, half of the kids is asleep in the car still is asleep. We got some um, mail, I mean, packages, Amazon. It's pretty exciting. Let me show you what we got. Whoa. Uh, vapor drops, I got the actual vapor too. Chia seeds, yeah. Um, I got the diffuser for these things. Because this brand, the I'll show you something. Frida Baby, they are absolutely magic. Unblocks their nose immediately. I don't know what it is. The humidifier, because it was on sale and ours. I just want to replace it. Not that you know, you gotta clean this kind of thing. You gotta make sure that there is no uh, mold spreading around a sick person. So I just want to replace it or just have an extra one what this is there's twin sheet that's I guess that's for oh that's for Maxi's new bed he's got his uh, car bed so this is a new sheet this is so exciting this is the mattress protector for Maxi I guess as well all right So this has been our morning. I'm gonna say goodbye to you now. I'm gonna end the vlog right here. We just had lunch. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for staying with us. Uh, I know it's been a little bit crazy. Can't call that a routine, but just a regular morning in the life of a mom of four small kids. Okay, have a wonderful week. I'll see you soon. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> Don't have hands. Do you want banana or not? <laughs> Is something really funny to you? Is something really funny to you? Something really funny to you too? How is your water? <laughs> <laughs>